King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, He will come and visit with His people. And you know, you saw me jump up. Why? Because I feel like a lion in a cage. And I have been sitting here for the whole day yesterday. And every one of you, you were so good in singing and dancing. And it was so wonderful. But I felt the pressure is now cooking and boiling inside of me. Because we are here for a purpose. For we are here for enhancing. But before I start to give the word that God has given me, but before I start to give the word that God has given me, I just want to say welcome to all of you. So we are going to say welcome until then, all. I want to say welcome, especially to the father and mother of uh, Christian. Or we especially to say welcome to the mother and father of Christian. And you and you hear me use the name Christian now. Or then I hear him use the word. It's because we will ordain him today to be pastor Christian. For the will be Also, I want to especially to say welcome to the family of our sister Karin. Well, önske also welcome to the family of sister Karin. So you can give them a good hand. So they can give them a good hand. So they can feel welcome. So they can feel welcome. Glory to God. Gud var är. Are you ready to go? Är du klar för att köra? Amen. Amen. You know there is a special time right now. Det är en speciell tid akkurat nu. Why are we planting a church in Hamar? Varför planterar vi en menighet i Hamar? Isn't there a lot? Churches in Hamar. Är det inte nog menigheter i Hamar? We are not here to come as a competition. Vi är inte här för att föra konkurrensen. But we are here to come as an addition. Men vi är här för att komma som en tillägg. You know there is so many good things that God wants to do among His people. För det är så mycket gott som Gud vill göra bland sitt folk. He wants to come with peace and He wants to come with love. Fred och kärlek. And that is is what we will do here in Hamar. Like Sister Rangli was saying, we are here to declare something into the spirit today. That's why I feel there is something inside of me, there is a pressure inside of me because we are in the middle of a birth of a new church. For that for the channel out uh or truck uh bigger shit up in the man for we are no effects of a new media. We want to see kingdom principles in the whole of Norway. We will say we want to see the kingdom of God, the glory of God throughout our nation. We will say good sadly at root of a hell of our nation. We want to break jealousy. We will break the jealousy. We want to break divination. We will break the splinters. And we want to bring the vibrant life of Christ in this place. We will bring the life and the stark life of Christ in us. Why do we plant a new church? Why do we plant a new church? We plant because we are obedient to the word of God. We plant it for the idea to the truth. In Matthew chapter nine. In Matthew chapter nine. In verse thirty-seven, thirty-eight. In verse thirty-seven, thirty-eight. You know the Bible speaks about the harvest and the laborers. The Bible talks about the harvest. Forgive me for speaking quickly, but I have a lot I want to say to you. The Bible talks about the harvest, but I have many I want to say to you. So let me just get going, and then we will see where we will stop a little bit. So Scott, but I go over and so we see where I stop. We are planting because we planted for it of the spiritual condition in this nation. På grund av den underliga situation i denna nation. I want to see a people raising up. I will see a people som raises up. I want to see a people raising up that has a standard of Jesus Christ. I will see a people som raises up som har 
We want to take responsibility for the assignment that God has given us. Vi vill ta ansvar för det uppdrag som Gud har gett oss. You know in the book in the book of all beginnings. I boken av alla begynnelser. It says and Pastor Kim to he quoted that scripture yesterday. Där står det och Pastor Kim to han citerade det ordet igår. From Genesis chapter 1:27 and 28. Från första Mosebok 1 28. It is about how God bless people. Där står det om hur Gud välsignar folk. And he said to them to be fruitful. Och sa till dem att var fruktbara. To multiply. Eh, för ö. To subdue the earth and have dominion. Låt de jord under dem och ha kontroll över dem. And that is what we are here to do. Och det är det vi är här för att göra. We are here to do exactly those things. Vi är här för att göra akkurat de ting. We want to take what the devil has tried to steal away from the church. Vi vill ta tillbaka det som djävulen har prövd att stjäla från menigheten. I am here to proclaim today that we are a winning church. Jag är här för att proklamera att vi är en vinnande menighet. And that we are a church that have victory. Och vi är en menighet som har seger. And we want to take back those areas. Och vi vill ta tillbaka de områden. That the church have neglectantly been losing all. So many have been hard. They are not following me. So why? What? What does it mean to take and have dominion? So what does it mean to have dominion? Now I will talk a little bit quickly. But bear with me because I have something I want to say. Man hold you. They have no ability. Dominion means rule. Det och ha råder att det betyder att bestämma. It means control. Det betyder kontroll. It means authority. Det betyder att du inte. It means sphere of influence. Det betyder att man har direkt individ. And if you study that word, you will find in Latin it means ownership over. Och om du studerar det i latin så betyder det ägarskap. And it comes from a word that means lord or master. Det kommer från ett ord som betyder herre och mäster. What does that mean for us as the church? Vad betyder det för oss som menighet? It means that the church should know that they have ownership. Menighet måste veta att de har ägarskap. And that the church know that we rule and have authority over something. Att menighet nu vet att vi regerar och har autoritet över något. And we are here because we want to do something about that. Och vi är här för att vi vill göra något med det. What does it mean to subdue? Vad betyder det att lägga under sig? It means to conquer and bring into subjection. Det betyder att övervinna och att ta kontroll över. It means to break. Det betyder att bryta. It means to discipline. Det betyder att disciplinera. It means to overcome and take control over. Det betyder att vinna över och ta kontroll över. We as the church. Vi som menighet. We are to do all of those things. Vi ska göra alla dessa ting. To who? Mot vem? The kingdom of darkness. Mot djävulen. Mörkets rike. You are the triumphant church. Dere är den segrade menighet. We are the triumphant church. Vi är den segrade menighet. I'm not speaking only about the way church. Jag talar inte bara om det vi kyrkan. I am speaking about the church of God. Jag talar om Guds menighet. And we need to know who we are in Christ Jesus. Vi lägger vi är i Jesus Kristus. So I want to say and speak out in this area. Så vi ser ju, vi talar ut i det här området. That we are not coming here as a threat. Och vi kommer inte hit som en trussel. But we are coming here as an addition. Men vi kommer som en tillägg. We come with love. Vi kommer med kärlek. We come with kindness. Vi kommer med godhet. And we come. Och vi kommer. With power and authority. Med kraft och autoritet. And we come with the way style flavor. Och så kommer vi med den way mot nå göra ting på. Glory to God. Gud var där. Hallelujah. So I am here today because I want to proclaim and declare into the spirit area of this place. Jag vill proklamera och deklarera in i det underliga på denna plats. And when I am 
been seeking God, God has revealed to me something. Och när jag sökt Gud så har Gud uppenbart något till mig. Are you interested to listen to that? Är du intresserad att höra det? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Gud har God has shown me that there is an issue. Gud har visst mig att det är ett issue. Let us go very quickly to Genesis chapter 26. Låt oss gå raskt till första Mosebok 26. I was very very excited when I heard the, the word that Sister Rangel was sharing. Jag var begeistrad när jag hörde det ordet som Sister Rangel delade. Because it was very timely and it fits the message that God has given me perfectly. Så det var helt tidsriktigt och det passar budskapet som är i färd med att ge. I'm just saying God knows what he is doing. Jag säger bara att Gud vet vad han gör. Do you know that God knows what he is doing? Säger du att Gud vet vad han gör? Hallelujah, glory to God. Now in this scripture, no, that the script said, it is about a man called Isaac. There are a woman, man, who is called Isaac. And as Sister Ragnell was saying that they were, they had to dig up the wells again. So Sister Ragnell said, "They must dig up the wells again." Okay, let us read together. Let's read together. From from 26:16. So you are successful. It is good that. We are reading the word of God. That God that we last heard God's word. So it says. That's all right. And Abimelech said to Isaac, "Go away from us, for you are much mightier than we." Abimelech said to Isaac, "Do not go from us, for you are more mighty than us." Then Isaac departed from there and pitched his tent in the valley of Gerar and dwelt there. Då drog Isaac bort därifrån. Han drog leir. Han slog leir i Gerardalen och bodde där. And Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father, for the Philistines had stopped them, had stooped them up. After the death of Abraham, Isaac grabbed the opium, the brandy, the other grabbed in his father Abraham's stage. For the Philistines had cast them again after that Abraham was dead. Nineteen. Also, Isaac's servant dug in the valley and found a well of running water there. Isaac's children. Tjänare gravde också i dalen och de fann en kilde med rännande vann där. But the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen saying the water is ours. Men jätterna från Gerar tränade med Isaks jätter och sa det är vårt vann. So he called the name of the well Esek. Därför kallade han kilden med namnet Esek. Because they quarreled with him. För de låg i strid med honom. Then they dug another well and they quarreled over that one also. Så gravde de en annan bröd och de trädde tog den också. Så vi kallade hans namn Sitna. Därför kallade han den med namnet Sitna. Och han gick från där och dog en annan well och de gick inte kvarrel över det. Så flyttade han därför och gravde en annan bröd och de trädde inte om den. Så vi kallade hans namn Rehobot. Därför kallade han den med namnet Rehobot. För att han sa att nu har Lord gjort rum för oss och vi ska bli fruktfull i landet. För han sa att nu har Herren gjort rum för oss för vi ska vara fruktbara i landet. Vad jag hörde i min spirit God was speaking to us. Det jag hörde i min ånd att Gud talade till oss. Han sa att det är en konflikt av vårt Rights. Det är en konflikt om rätten till vann. And I'm saying this not only in Hamar, but I am saying this about our nation. Och jag säger inte detta bara om Hamar, men jag säger detta också för hela vår nation. Because what I am speaking is not only for Hamar, but it is for the nation. För det talar jag inte bara för Hamar, men också för nation. So he showed me there is a conflict of water rights. Så han visste att det är en konflikt runt vannrättigheter. And then he said that it should not be like that, nor in Shea, nor in Hama. So, so the school is very strict. In Kei Shea, no, he didn't give him. Let us not quarrel about water rights. Let us not quarrel about water rights. I am here to proclaim that all of us we have water rights. There has been enough arguments. There has been enough arguments. And hostility among people. Of friendship among folk. And hostility among churches. Of friendship among churches. About water rights. Um, water rights. 
the first well that they were digging. Den första brunnen som de som de gravde. It was Esek. Det var Esek. It means quarrel. Det betyder krangel. We don't want that. Vi vill inte ha det. The second well they were digging. Den andra brunnen som de gravde. It was named Sitna. Det var den var kallad Sitna. It means enmity. Det betyder fiendskap. Having enemies. Ha fiende. We don't want that. Vi vill inte ha det. But thank God for the third time they were digging the well. Men tack Gud för den tredje gången de de gravde den brunnen. The name of the well was Rehobot. Namnet på den brunnen var Rehobot. And it means spaciousness. Det betyder eh uh, God plass. That it is room enough. Og det er nok rom. That means that there are much space there. Det betyr at det er mye plass der. And room for everybody. Og rom til alle. Let us have a well that flows with living water. La oss ha en brønn som flyter med det. Let us share the water. La oss dele vannet. Let everybody that is thirsty come and drink. La alle som er tørst komme og drikke. Because who is that water? For them are the ones. It is Jesus. Hallelujah. It is Jesus. That Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to say to you, there is enough water for everybody to drink. There, I will say, there is enough water for all to drink. And it is spaciousness. Oh, there is room. Room enough. For everybody to come and drink that water. Room nok for all to come and drink that water. Hallelujah, glory to God. Gud var där. Let us not have conflict of water rights. Låt inte ha strid över vattenrättigheter. Then God spoke something else to me. Så talade Gud nu om det här. He said responsibility. Så sa han ansvar. You know, when God speaks, the church needs to stand up and take the responsibility. No good taller shall tell me men that more raises it or pour on swara. We are here to celebrate a new birth today. We are here for a fair at nut a new sunset today. And all of you ladies, or all of their daughters who have been in labor, so hard, what you bosh on? Who has been in labor? Just stretch your hand and be proud. <laughs> All of you mothers. All of them are And maybe I think the fathers also they can feel that pain. Oh, kanske kan det sätta på. Fedrarna också kan följa den smärtan. But you know the pain that comes with labor. Men du vet den smärtan som kommer när du föder. And the hard work that you need to push. Before you see that beautiful result. Oh, the the hard pushing us on the table to do it before you see the beautiful result. When the delivery comes, when the time comes to deliver, it is painful. So it is painful. But it is also a tremendous joy. But so it is also a huge joy. Because. For the when the pregnancy starts. When. Graviditeten starter. You might not see what is going on on the outside, right? Så ser du inte på utsidan vad som sker. But man, something is going on inside. Men nu sker på insidan. Isn't that true? Är det inte så? In the beginning. If you look, you cannot look at a lady and tell that she is pregnant. Du kan inte se på en dam och säga hon är gravid. But when the queen of the house men och drönningen i hemmet. She sends you out at night. Sänder dig ut mitt på natten. To buy certain kind of sweets. För att köpa vissa sötsaker. Or if she eats tons of oranges. Eller hon spiser ton med apelsiner. Or she eats the potato chip together with coffee. Eller hon spiser chips samma som kaffe. You understand that. Something is cooking. So for sure, you are no arbogal. You understand that something is going on with this lady. You understand that no arbogal is going on with this lady. And then the changes on the outside come. So you know the forandring on the outside will happen. And it's a little bit normal. They're a little normal. Because now also the world around can see 
that there is something going on. For no one verden rundt ser at det er noe som skjer. Uh, the belly starts to come out. Magen begynner å komme ut. Maybe everything else also starts to come out. Kanskje alt annet også begynner å komme ut. Yeah, I can talk about it because I am a woman. Ja, jeg kan tale om det fordi jeg er en kvinne. And I have two daughters. Og jeg har to døtre. So I know all the things that go on when you are pregnant. Så jeg kjenner til alle de ting som skjer når du er gravid. And when you see your queen, she is walking like a duck like this. Når du ser din dronning gå som en ann som dette. You know that there is something that is affecting her so much. Så vet du at det er noe som har påvirket henne så mye. And you know that the time is drawing near. Og du vet at tiden er nærmer seg. That something is going to happen. At noe kommer til å skje. Even the feet and the hands starts to swell Selv føtterne og hendene begynner å hoppe To the point that nothing of the normal fits anymore Så mye at ikke det normale passer lenger It will never go back to the way it was Det vil aldri gå tilbake til den måten det var Today I dag Today I dag Nothing will be the same again in Hamar Nothing will be the same again in Hamar Nothing will be the same again in Hamar Every pain Every contradiction Every push Was meant to bring life and produce something They were meant for to produce a life Have you been in the place where uh, after the mother had uh, delivered the baby Har du vært på plass etter en mor har levert en unge? And you look around and you see all these mothers and fathers Og du ser rundt og du ser på mødrene og fedrene And you see how they look after they have received the baby Og du ser hvordan de ser ut etter de har uh, gitt uh, fødsel til et barn Ok, ok, let, let me illustrate something for you La meg illustrere noe for, for deg And again, I can do it because I'm a woman eh? Og jeg kan gjøre det for deg en kvinne so don't 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 feel ashamed, okay? So you can feel uh, that that's coming. Now this is an illustration. Then there are illustration. When you are in that place, no, you are in that place, and you can look at different ladies. Or you see for special ladies. And by the size of the baby, po po po, no, you see po 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 stories in the barn. You know. By the way they are walking. So can you see how good that they go? This was a four, a four kilos baby. This was a four kilos baby. And this one, it was a five kilo baby. Oh, that was a five kilos baby. I am telling you today. Yes, see that the today now. Also the mothers and fathers. Also mothers and fathers. When they look at that little baby. When they see that little baby born. And they say, Wow, isn't this baby the cutest baby ever you have seen in the whole life? Are you that the that vacuous that born that was set in hell and clean? And they are maybe they are pink and wrinkly and ugly and the ugliest baby you have ever seen. Because they are they are rosa, they are wrinkled, and they are the that stickiest the ugliest the no no that. But to the mother and father, it's the most beautiful baby. <laughs> so I want to say to you so I see to that. that today in Hamar, so in dog in Hamar, when we are leaving this place, when we drive from the after house, everything is finished, and at all that party, this is the way we will walk. That the we will uh, walk, walk. Yeah, because by the way we are walking. For the people we are People know. So we the folk. People know. Folk we. So we will have. So we will have hope that we have been here and we, have been, and we have been producing a beautiful baby and we are so proud of that baby and we think it is the Hallelujah. And if you turn your Bibles to First King, I will just touch this, this, this thing very quickly. 
Because we have something we need to do. För vi har något vi tränger att göra. But I have some more words and I need to speak them to you. Men jag har några fler ord att tränga och tala dem till dig. You can turn your Bibles to First King chapter 18. Du kan nå slå upp i första kapitel 18. And just look in your Bible. Och bara se i Bibeln. It is a story there. Det är en historia där. A powerful story. En kraftfull historia. But I don't think we have time to go and read the whole story together. Men jag tycker att vi ska ta oss tid till att läsa hela historien. But this is what God spoke to me. Men det där det Gud talade till mig. He said, don't focus on what happened in the past. Inte fokusera på det som har hänt tidigare. He said, focus on what he is doing right now. For there is a sound of abundance of rain. For there are leading of much rain. And it's this rain that is coming. Or rain from coming. It has been a great slaughter of the bad prophets. There was a stout nerslocking of bad prophets. And it had been a big confrontation of the power of darkness. There was a stout confrontation with darkness' power. And then the prophet. Or so that prophet. We should think that he was so exhausted. Vi skulle tro att han var så utslitt. Because he had been a part of a great event on Mount Carmel. För han hade varit och tagit del i ett stor hämtning som skedde på Carmelfjället. And then they had slaughtered a lot from the kingdom of darkness. Och så hade de slaktat ner en massa från det mörkets rike. So I was thinking that he was very, very exhausted. Så jag tänkte att han måste ju vara väldigt Physically and mentally. Physisk och mental. It would not be a time to go on a mountain hike. Det vill inte vara den tiden du vill välja en fjälltur på. But the prophet he decided he wanted to go on the top of that mountain. Men profeten har bestämt att jag vill på toppen av det fjället. Because there was something inside of him, and he was a man that listened to God. För det var något på insidan av honom som var en man som hörde efter Gud. You and me. We are spiritual people that we need to listen to God. Do you mean we are only folk who try to hear from God? So now he said to the king, I Ahab. So now he said to King Ahab, the same king that had the wife that wanted to kill the prophet. The same king who had the wife that wanted to kill the prophet. Go up and eat and drink. Go up and eat and drink. Because there is a sound of abundance of rain. For there are leaden of Masarani. It was the same. Same prophet. There was the same prophet who had told King Ahab. So when the same thing came out, as the Lord God lives, some hand and in good land, before whom I stand, some I stand for him. It shall not be dew or rain these years except at my word. The scholar get rain for this year, but not that be sucked no other from in moon. Do you know there is power in your words? There is power in your words. When you when you speak the word of God, when you talk the good word, your words will start to produce something. Your words will begin to produce something. Hallelujah! It was a a a severe drought in that land. It was a crafty drought in that land. Three years and six months. Three or six months. But now, but now, now the prophet he goes up on the mountain. Prophet don't go. And first, the sign came as a fist of a man. First, the woman then tagged. There was a man knit now that he knew. And the servant went to the prophet and said, No, 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 no! I cannot see anything. What? The chairman went to the prophet and said, I see nothing. And then the prophet said, Go again. So the prophet said, Go again. And he did that seven times. And you were the seventh time. Look again. See again. I want to encourage you here today. I will open to the higher door. Even if you have been a Christian. For so many years, some of you have been Christian for many, many years. For many, many years, for many, many years, and you have tried this and this and this. Oh, do I try that, 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 that? I want to tell you today: go again. I will see it out. Go again. Go again. Because there is a new time. For there are new days. And even if Hamar has seen a lot of good things from God, Sanu Hamar has seen much of good things from God. There is room for more. There is room for me. Do you agree you want more from God? Are there any or do we have more from God? There is room for more in Hamar. There is room for more in Hamar. As there is 
room for more in Norway. Slik det er rom for mer i Norge. Halleluja. Glory to God. Gud Don't være. worry. Ikke vær redd. For the shaking. For rystelsen. Maybe you are in the midst of something in your own life. Kanskje er du midt oppe i noe i ditt eget liv. But I hear the Spirit of God is saying, Don't worry about that shaking. Men jeg hører Gud som sier til meg, Ikke vær bekymret for den rystelsen. Because after that shaking, God will show himself. For etter den rystelsen, så vil Gud vise seg selv. We have received a word the beginning of this year. Vi har det mottatt et ord i begynnelsen av dette året. Divine visitation. Guddommelig besøk. And indeed it is. Og virkelig. A time with divine visitation. En tid med guddommelig besøk. And the Holy Spirit is here also. Og den herre er her også. And he wants to visit with his people. Og vil besøke sitt folk. First King 1911. Første kongebok 1911. I will just give you the scriptures and you can write it down and you can read it when you come home. Jeg skal bare gi deg skriftstedene så kan du skrive det ned og lese det når du kommer hjem. Because of time. På grunn av tid. In first King 19. I første kongebok 19. It says that God showed himself. Da står det at Gud viste seg. But before he did. Men før han gjorde det. It was an earthquake. Så var det et jordskjell. God did a lot of things. Gud gjorde en masse ting. And after that he wanted to show who he was. Og etter det så ville han vise hvem han var. That is what God wants to do for you and me also. Det er det Gud vil gjøre for deg og meg også. And the shaking is to get your attention. Og rystelsen går ut på å få din oppmerksomhet. Matthew 24, 54. Matthew 24, 54. 27, 54. 27, 54. On the cross of Calvary. På Jesu Kvart. After Jesus released his spirit, the curtains in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom. Så ble tempelforhenget revet i to fra toppen til ned til bunn. That was a very powerful moment. Det var et kraftfullt øyeblikk. The Bible says that the earth shook. Bibelen sier at jorden ristet. The rocks were splitting apart. Steinene, de ble brutt i stykker. Even the tongues opened. Selv gravene ble åpnet. The Roman soldiers were afraid. De romerske soldatene ble redde. It was good that Jesus did this. Det var godt at Jesus gjorde dette. So we can enter into the holiest of the holy. Slik at vi kunne gå inn i det helligste av det hellige. Do you know what the Roman soldiers said? Vet du hva de romerske soldater sa? Truly this was the Son of God. I sannhet dette var Guds Sønn. Matthew 28, 2. Matthäus 28, 2. We see another earthquake. Så ser vi et annet jordskjell. In the morning at the grave. Ved morgenen. When the angel comes down, når engelen kommer ned, and he pushes away the stone, og han ruller bort stein, to tell that Jesus Christ was risen, for å si at Jesus Kristus har vært oppstått, he is alive, han er levende, and you will see him, og du vil se ham, he will meet with you, han vil møte med deg, it is divine visitation, det er Gud om liv, men så, after there is a shaking, it's because God wants to show himself powerfully. Etter at det er en rystelse, så er det fordi at Gud vil vise seg mektig. I have a point to tell you all this. Jeg har et poeng med alt dette. Acts 16, 26. Apostelgjeringen 16, 26. Paul and Silas was in the prison. Paulus og Silas var i fengsel. You know the story. Du kjenner historien. They were praying and worshiping. De ba og sang lovsanger. Suddenly there was a massive earthquake. Plutselig så kom det et stort jordskjell. What happened after? Hva skjedde etterpå? The prison was shaken in its foundation. Fengslet ble lystet i sine grunnvåler. And the doors were flew open. Og dørene sprang opp. And the chains were falling off. Og lenkene falt av. What am I saying, people? Hva sier jeg her på? I say that this nation is in a shaking. Jeg sier at denne nasjonen er i rystelse. I am saying that Norway is in a shaking. Jeg sier at Norge er i en rystelse. And the foundation of this 
nation is in a shaking. Och fundamentet i den nation är rystet. When a shaking comes, när en rystet så kommer, don't think about it as a bad thing. Inte se på det som en dålig ting. Because after the shaking, God will show Himself. För ända rystet som så vill Gud visa sig. That shaking, den är rystet. It's a splitting open into the future. Det är en öppning av framtiden. It is a splitting open into the future. Det är en öppning av framtiden. So if you are here today and you have had pressure on your life, så du är här idag och du har press i din egen liv. And you have felt Something is trembling for you. Och du har följt att nu är blivit presset i dig. It is God who is splitting the way open for your future. Yeah, good. Yeah. Open. Thank you for that. Glory to God. Good for that. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Good for that. You know the actions of the church is very important. Handlingar till medlemmen är väldigt viktig. It speaks about the wife. And the Bible says she arose when it was yet dark. This woman is a picture of the church. Of the true church. I am here to say somebody needs to get up when it is still dark. Yes. Somebody has to get up when it is still dark. I need some help to put this down. I need to come closer to you. I need to come closer to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you are thinking, okay, this this lady, this blonde lady, she is totally crazy. You think that kind of thing? Then blonde dama, what is first thing they do? No, I don't know what she's talking about. Maybe some of you, you are you are you are thinking now. This lady, she screams too much. You don't think that kind of thing? Dama, who rupe for me? What is she talking about? What talking about? But I have something that is burning inside of my heart. But I hold on to my heart for him to not be kept. Because I love this nation. For I ask it that I not true. And I know that God is a God for the nation. Why say that God is good for the nation? And it is not a coincidence that you are here. For the other kind of family, for the two are here. You are a representative of your own. Du är en representant för din egen nation. And God is a God for the nation. Och Gud är en Gud för nationen. And what God is doing in one nation, it will also be relevant to your nation. Och Gud gör i en nation är relevant för din nation. But we are in Norway today. Men vi är i Norge idag. And I have to tell you. Och jag ska se det. As a minister of God. Som en Guds tjänst är gav. Today I am proud that we are going to plant a church. Idag är jag stolt för att vi ska planta en menighet. Because in the whole country there are so many churches that are closing. För i vår nation så är det så många menigheter som läggs ner. In the world today there are so many Christian churches that are going down. I vår tid idag så är det så många kristna menigheter. Why? Because we, as the people of God, we have not taken our stand and been moved by the Holy Spirit to do what God has called and anointed us to do. Oh, when it still was dark. When it still was dark. This lady, she had to get up. Somebody has to get up when it's still dark. No one more raises a up or stood up must the end of it. It is you and me, the living church. Yeah, they are me, the living the man. We need to stand up. 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 We need to plant more churches. We need 
We need to plant many churches that can bring water. That don't quarrel about the water rights. But give the true water of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I, I ha have to give you this testimony. Since we started our church in Sheyan, it's been a lot of things going on. We have had ups and downs. We have had And by now, I wanted us to be a church of many, many thousand people. Because that is what I feel in my heart. For the day, in my But we need to stir up the brothers and sisters. To raise up and start to move in the power of God. And I said this to God. I didn't go through all I have went through. Just to quit. Just to quit. I, I didn't go through all that pressure. Just to give up. But for you. We overcome by the blood of Jesus. We overcome by the blood of Jesus. And the testimony. Brag about what God doing in your life. Stop to brag about what God has done for you. Testify about the miracles that God has done in your life. Then people will start to be interested in this living God that you are serving. We don't care about religion. We don't care about religion. We care about relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. Your actions is important. They are important. Oh, hallelujah. What you do is so important. Turn your Bibles to 2 Kings 7 and you can read from verse 3 to 10. Because of time, I will not read the scriptures. But I want to quote for you. There were four leprous men. There were four leprous men. And then in this story, we see that they are very in a difficult situation. We see that they are in a difficult situation. If they are going into the city, they will die of famine. If they go in the city, they will die. If they are sitting there where they are sitting, they will die. Om de sitt var där de sitter så vill de dö. But they made up their mind. Men de bestämde sig. So they stood up. Så de reste sig. And they started to move. Och de började att bevaga sig. And they were active. Och de var aktiva. And they did not know exactly what they were doing. De visste inte helt vad de gjorde. But they stood up. Och de reste sig. And you know they did not have a future that was cut out for them. De hade inte en framtid som var helt klar för dem. Because they were sick. För de var sjuka. But they decided. Men de bestämde sig. They made a decision. De gjorde en beslutning. In the twilight. I morgontimmarna. Do you know twilight? It means between darkness and light. Maybe it is a place where you are right now. You don't know really what to do. What is the next step for you in your life? But they made a decision. And then they moved. They made up their mind. And they rose up. And in that, they walked in the supernatural provision of God. So, 
Gåvan naturliga från Gud. And they were the ones that God used to bring good news. Och de var dem som Gud brukte för att bringa goda nyheter. And they had a divine visitation. Och de hade ett gudomlig besök. Divine visitation. Gudomlig besök. God is saying to you today. Gud säger till dig idag. I am taking you to the next level. Ett tar dig till nästa nivå. I am taking you to the next level. Ett tar dig till nästa nivå. Download, start to download your message from heaven. Börja nå delas din ditt budskap från himlen. How can you do that? Hur kan du göra det? You have to be connected yourself. Du måste vara sammankopplad själv. So you can download what you need from God. Så att du kan downloada det du tränger från Gud. You have to have a vibrant life yourself to get. Du må ha et levende liv selv med Jesus. It it doesn't matter what everybody else around you is doing. Det betyder ikke noe hva alle rundt deg gjør. If you have to run after that all the time to get what you need and to search for and and get the I need I I want oh I I feel this way oh I'm so sorry. Om du må løpe rundt og og hele tiden løpe rundt. I'm a hawk. I'm a hawk. I'm a crow. No. No. Get your connection. For the coupling. Be connected to heaven yourself. Be till coupling to heaven itself. Be connected to heaven yourself. Be connected yourself. It is very powerful. Yeah. Can you imagine yeah. what will happen yeah. when the church come together? No, no demon can be there yeah. when we come together. No, and there is a sick person coming in, yeah. even and, there, and, and, and he enters into the church yeah. before somebody gets to. that is alive because we need a live church to present there out in the world hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to become a living world. Not only talk about it. Not only know much about it. Not only have the word as a philosophy. Not only study it, but for the case of studying it. No, I want to be the word like Jesus was the word. I don't only want a touch of God. Like we are so clever to say in the charismatic church. I don't only want a touch. I want to be fully charged by God. When we are charged by God, we can start to change. When we are charged with the power of God, we can start to make an influence wherever we are going. Because we are not coming. 
that is what we need. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 First Corinthians 13 11 says that the church of the body of Christ need to put away childish things. Let us, let us run quickly to that scripture. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 13 11. We are soon there. We are soon there. We are soon there. Oh, we are soon there. We are soon there. Hallelujah. Just pay attention. Oh, glory to God. Oh, keep praying with me right now. Because we need to deposit what we have here. Glory to God. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, church we need to see sons and daughters that are raising up we need, we need to see sons and daughters that stand in the kingdom that are the image of their father that are the image of God the Bible says he was 13. And now abide faith, hope, and love. Oh no, true hope or challenge. These three. But the greatest of this is love. But the first of this are challenge. Hallelujah. You saw the, the, the whale that was teared down from the top to the bottom. You saw for him as a bereaved from top and till birth. It was Jesus who did that. It was Jesus who did that. Why? Why? You know our faith takes us into the to the court. Our true tar us get in e e e the inner stuff. No, to the outer court. Till outer. To the outer court. To the altar for God. Now there, for our faith, we say yes, we receive you, Jesus. Yeah, we are moved on that, Jesus. And then there is the next step. We come in there. There is the water basin, and it's the candles that are there. The next day we come in, so are the vanos, so are the loose tokens. And some of us, we enter into that inner court. Or no, no, what we go in the inner stuff. But what I want to say to you today, that Jesus, He prepared. Jesus for for us that. to enter into the holiest of holy. Jesus for us to enter into the holiest of holy. Where love abides. Where love abides. Where love abides. Where love abides. He wants to take you and me into that holiest of holies. Not only in the outer court. Not inner court. But into the holiest of holies. And there is where perfect love is there perfect Amen. and love will just give you everything that you need for yourself in your life it is a holy place it is a prepared place it is a separated place and that holiness starts on the inside and transform you in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus 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 hallelujah. glory to God glory to God glory to God Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We will go to a closing now. Mr. Bodhi, I'm going to go to a closing now.
Please can you stand on your feet? Oh, Rabba Basha Kasila Nana Mashende, Heria Baba Shaka Pana Mashende, Hora Mamaria Shende, Ria Sende, God gets concerned about his church. Oh, God loves his church. God loves his church. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Oh, he loves you. He loves you. Oh, Ramaya Shatarabashiana Namashendi, Oh, Ragashiana. 